Hello you guys and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and welcome to our minimalist bathroom. In just a few moments we'll be sharing our minimalist bathroom tour as well as kind of two additional like bonus videos you get all in one. Today we'll also be talking about some of the ways you can declutter your bathroom and simplify it a bit as well as sharing some of our um, recommendations for personal care products just because I know that's been um, a comment or email I receive here and there so I'm finally addressing that too. Before we begin, I'm not exactly sure how the lighting is going to work out, so just stay patient with that. And as far as you know, the size of it, it's definitely a little bit smaller of a bathroom. For us, it's totally fine and it's plenty of space, but just for getting the camera angles, we're gonna do the best we can, so come on in. All right, so welcome, this is the bathroom here. We have the sink over here, toilet, towel rack, and shower behind the door here. So we're gonna kinda go through each section. I'm gonna start with the shower, actually. Now I must admit when we first moved into the condo, this bathroom was one of my favorite parts. It's the only room we did not pretty much do anything in. And I especially love the shower. This is the first time we've ever had like a glass door shower. And I think that's so cool. Also, one of the things I love about it is that it's a little bit more spacious than our past shower and there is actually a built-in rack for things. We used to have a caddy that hung over the shower faucet, but we don't need that anymore, which makes a really nice aesthetic, and we just keep our essential shower products in that rack. So inside the shower, it's pretty empty. We did get this suction cup soap dish, which we found really helpful because we didn't want there to be a bunch of soap residue up on this part of the shower. We also did the same thing for a squeegee just to keep a little bit cleaner in here. And then within the shower, the goal is to keep as few products as possible. So if you find that you have a bunch of extra items within your shower that maybe you don't use every day, maybe those items don't need to be in the shower and you could have a very clean aesthetic without it. We actually just have a couple products here, four products as well as my razor. The shampoo that I'm using at the moment is this Acure shampoo. I do the volume one with peppermint and echinacea and I really like it. One thing, if you do switch over to something like this, um, this is sulfate free, so your hair may need a little bit of time to adjust. It doesn't have any sulfates, parabens. This, along with all of our other products, are vegan and cruelty free as well, and we try to have as environmentally friendly products as possible. So a cure is a really great option. Jake uses this Everyone uh, soap and shampoo. It's a three-in-one. So it's like shampoo, shower gel, and can be used for shaving. So he really likes using this. Now I haven't yet found like an, a set favorite that I would say is better than all the other ones for conditioner yet, but we've been using the Alafia conditioner recently. I've actually bought it originally on clearance and I've actually um, been very happy with it so far. And lastly, this is my face wash. I do just wash my face while I'm in the shower. I don't bother with that in the morning or like, right before bed, but I am obsessed with this particular cleanser. This is the Pacifica brand Seafoam Complete Face Wash. And unlike so many other things, it doesn't dry out your face, and I'm obsessed with it, so this is a favorite. All right, let's get out of the shower. Now, one of the best things to do is to try to keep your surfaces as open as possible. And that can definitely be trickier depending on the bathroom. Now, we are very lucky because we have amazing storage behind the mirror. So that makes life a lot easier, but deciding what items are essential to keep in the bathroom. For example, you know, obviously people call this like a medicine cabinet, but is keeping medicine there, if you are doing that, actually the best thing? Personally, Jake and I feel very fortunate, we're very healthy, and we also try to use a lot of non-medication related things for, for minor ailments. We definitely don't need to keep medicine in this kind of area. We chose instead to only keep the stuff that we use every day or nearly every day. And by keeping just the essentials, it means there's plenty of space for everything, things can be very spread out and easy to access, and you'll find that as things are more spread out, you enjoy putting them back more compared to having to like hope you find a spot. So that's gonna prevent clutter on your surfaces as well as just make the overall experience more enjoyable. We'll get to this stuff in a second. So as far as what we actually keep out, the only things that we really keep out are the hand soap, here, which makes sense. And um, one hack to save on soap costs would be to get some foaming hand soap dispensers. They do sell these in stores, but I actually recently found uh, these glass jars on Amazon. They came in packs of two, which was nice. And you can actually just pour a little bit of whatever soap you're using and dilute it with water. 
and that's going to give you the foaming hand soap mix and it's gonna save so much money long term, especially if you are still purchasing single plastic bottles of hand soap. I love this nightlight as well as just the idea of having a nightlight in the bathroom to give you more options with lighting because these overhead lights are very bright, but when you're trying to wind down and get ready for bed or if you just woke up and you're still really tired, these lights are not the first thing that you wanna see when you wake up. So I find this is a lot more mellow. It took a few moments for the camera to adjust, but even though it kind of looks like it's on fire right now, um, it's a lot more mellow of a light. So that part is so nice because this is just a much more comfortable lighting situation. You can still see everything you need to, but you're not feeling like that bright light. And we just also keep a hand towel. We love these towels. These are under the canopy, which is the organic cotton brand from Bed Bath & Beyond. We do keep our toothbrushes out. I am currently using a bamboo brush. I still had a couple uh, plastic ones in reserve I was using up over the last couple years, but I'm finally excited to be, be using a bamboo toothbrush now. I'm just trying to, again, gradually make my life more sustainable as possible. And then Jake does use an electric toothbrush that the dentist recommended to him. And that also comes with this mount here for um, putting a smartphone up to track your brushing and it's just supposed to give you a little bit of more information about how you're brushing and helping you avoid certain dental issues. So again, as we mentioned, only keep the essentials, but also make them really easily accessible depending on what you need. On the bottom shelf, Jake's stuff is more so here and my stuff's more over here. After I shower, I use this um, Thayer's like Witch Hazel formula as a toner. I just get the unscented one to avoid the fragrance. And to put that on, this, these are actually little pieces I cut up from an old organic cotton t-shirt that was like really thin and I couldn't wear it anymore. I just take them out of this uh, jar and I put it in the other jar when it's dirty. This is the face lotion that I use, or like a face cream. It says night cream. I don't put it on right before bed. I usually shower after I get home from work, like at four or five, so I just put it on then. Um, but this is good stuff. This is a Cure Night Cream, and I will admit I haven't done as much with skincare for a long time. This is all within the last few months, but I just felt like I wanted a little bit more of a heavy duty moisturizer, and this one so far has been really awesome. Also, even though I don't have this right now because I don't think I need it, um, the Acure Day Cream is really good and smells amazing. It's like this yummy citrus smell. So minimalist, so I don't need it right now, but it's good stuff too. I have my deodorant here. This one is the Alafia deodorant. I was using Schmidt's deodorant for a long time, but I was noticing a little bit of staining on some of my clothes and this one has not been a problem with that, even though I really like the Schmidt's product too. We just have some body butter or hand lotion from Andaloon Naturals, and this one we actually bought. Um, it was clearance at TJ Maxx, but it's like a vanilla one. It's so good. And I won't go in too much depth on some of Jake's products here, but he's got like a, a basic face lotion. It was purchased at Trader Joe's, but I don't think they sell it anymore. Contact solution here, uh, hair styling cream also from Andaloon Naturals, and shave cream from Urban Cowboy. It is an all vegan line, so that's really cool. He also has the Urban Cowboy deodorant and um, a toothpaste that I really like. He uses it all the time and I use it about half the time. This is the Hello toothpaste, specifically the sensitivity one. Um, but we really like this brand. Just the taste of it is amazing. Not that like you're eating toothpaste for the taste. We were a little bummed out for a while just because it was it's kind of a smaller size and it was a bit more expensive when we found it at the stores. But at least when I recently found it, it was only $3 on Amazon, which was cheaper than like the $5 in stores. So we did really load up on it a while back. So we're stocked for a while. They have other kinds too. We actually long time ago, I think it might have been almost two years ago at this point, we filmed like a natural toothpaste review video. Um, the funny thing is we didn't even know about this at the time, but um, definitely would be a preferred option compared to those that we tried out. Otherwise, um, we have dental floss, I've got bamboo brush as well as wide tooth comb, and just I keep extra hair ties, nail clippers, uh, tweezers, like that kind of stuff over here. And then up top I do have a dry brush. Now a dry brush is really awesome to use, especially before you shower. It can be really great to exfoliate, get dead skin cells off, and I find it leaves my skin really soft. So this is definitely a must for me every day. We just keep a few Q-tips up there in that bin. Um, I also have this other toothpaste. This is the Arm & Hammer one. Definitely not as sustainable 
as an option as the hello button. But before we found it for that cheap price on Amazon, I just, it's kind of the thing of balancing like the sustainability with trying to be frugal and not spend too much money. So this was a cheaper toothpaste to use that we still liked. So I kind of like switched off, but I've got that as well. And then some of Jake's um, extra flosser things. So that shows you what's in our cabinet here. There's not really much going on here. Um, you know, toilet's a toilet. However, I did make a really cool bathroom spray I wanted to show. I'm just reusing this spray bottle. It used to have hand sanitizer and you fill it mostly with water a couple drops of a favorite essential oil, and then a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And you can like squirt that into the toilet bowl or spray it around the room just to make things fresher. So we actually have lime and eucalyptus essential oil in here and it smells amazing. And to finish up, we're just gonna show what's below the sink. Now in past apartments, I would have definitely been a little bit more embarrassed to show what was under the sink because there was a lot. But these days we have so much less than we used to and it just makes it overall a lot more calm. This cabinet here, or this side of the drawer here, has a little shelf that pulls out. So we just keep extra toilet paper here. And then in the main part, it's also pretty simple. We keep a couple extra like cleaning rags for wiping down the counters. I try to do that a couple times a week. You can also keep old toothbrushes to scrub along the tiles in the shower to get off any grime there or variety of other surfaces. So definitely if you have toothbrushes, you can use them for a variety of household tasks. Jake keeps some of his extra contacts down here. We've got a couple extra bars of soap down here. We're not yet really having a favorite. The ironic thing is because we had such an excess of soap before as well as, um, and it's a long story, but there was soap from other people. We've been married coming up on five years and this is literally like last month was the first time we actually bought soap, bar soap. And then um, just for cleaning products, this is just reusing the bottle here, a really simple, cleaning solution that I use for an all-purpose spray here, wherever actually in the bathroom, is a mix of water and vinegar and then just a few drops of essential oil. I think I have tea tree oil in here right now. And so super easy, you can just keep reusing the bottle. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this minimalist bathroom tour. I hope it was helpful. And if you do have any questions about anything I mentioned, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I also will have links to everything that I talked about that you can purchase um, in the description field below if you think it would add value to your life. If you'd like to check out some other minimalist related videos, I will link them here. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you can do that right up here. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.